All right, everyone. I wanted to give a brief review of the Candace Owens documentary, The Greatest Lie Ever Sold. Um, so if, if you've seen this, um, I'd be curious to know what you all think. And if you haven't, um, I'm going to tell you what I think. Um, so this documentary uh, basically starts uh, in the aftermath of the George Floyd situation in Minneapolis. Uh, Candace Owens uh, speaks to the actual roommates of George Floyd <clears throat> who, who lived with him um, up, up until the time that he passed away. Um, it's a man and a woman. They uh, were, I guess, friends with George Floyd. They, they shared all their expenses and everything. And, and they were people who you really didn't hear from uh, during that whole situation. So you, you kind of get a different perspective on George Floyd, his situation, who he was, um, and what those closest to him thought about him. Um, the documentary then goes on. Uh, Candace Owens goes through the financial statements of Black Lives Matter, which shows that uh, during that time in the summer of 2020 <clears throat> and all that situation leading up to it, they raised about $80 million, a lot of money. And she goes through their financial statement and it basically shows how all the money that they raised, it, it enriched the founders of Black Lives Matter. They bought a mansion, they bought properties, um, they paid their family members um, salaries <laughs> in the uh, high six figures. Um, they sent money to a number of transgender organizations. I, I don't know how that helps black people, but um, that's that's where they sent their money. And how certain um, <clears throat> certain business owners uh, who had been looted, were essentially blackmailed um, into sending money to to this organization. So, very interesting documentary. Um, if you if you haven't seen it, I, I definitely recommend giving it a watch. Um, whether you're pro Black Lives Matter, anti Black Lives Matter, somewhere in between, um, it doesn't really matter. Um, there's there's a lot of new information here that really. Um, you know, hasn't, hasn't been widely publicized, even though it's publicly available. Um, so in, you know, one of the, one of the interesting parts of the, the film too, is where uh, Candace Owens actually goes to the uh, home of <clears throat> one of the BLM founders and, you know, they, they want nothing to do with her. They, you know, they won't, they won't give her the time of day, but you literally see, on camera, Candace Owens goes to the, I mean, obviously this is a, a mansion, so it's, it's behind a wall, it's behind a gate, and she uh, rings the uh, buzzer there and tries to explain her situation and what she wants with them, and you see it on, on camera, and she's being very cordial and very nice and says, you know, we'll leave, whatever. And then the next thing you see is, this uh, Patrice Cullors is her name, who's one of the founders of BLM, is, you know, crying hysterically on camera and says she was she was threatened. And then she she wipes her social media. And it's like you can obviously see she was she was full of it. Um, but that's just sort of a, a brief overview. My thoughts on it. Um, but like I said, again, uh, definitely check it out if you haven't. Uh, and if you have seen it. Um, I'm definitely curious to know what you all think about it. So until the next one, I'll see you.